let me refresh something. This is in my opinion. This is uh, my division. Probably other engineers divided the boat or classified the boats uh, different. But uh, for me, I consider a small boats, boats with a, I'm going to write that definition. I consider a small boats, boats in, in total length, less than uh, 28 feet. Those are considered small boats. Uh, medium boats, medium boats are uh, boats in between uh, 28 and uh, 56, 56 feet light. Big boats, big boats are boats in between uh, 56 and 95. And uh, mega yachts, Ninety-five and up. Yes. For example, this is a mechanical system. Examples of a mechanical systems. Uh, I have a default room here. You remember? And I have a heavy weight over there. This is the weight. And uh, and this is the distance in between this and this. And this is the force that you need to apply here to lift that weight. What is the formula, you remember? The second law of Newton? Oh, if this is the, the distance, oh, the force times the distance should be equal to the weight times the distance. Ah, of course, with this formula, you calculate how much is the force that you need to move that heavy weight. You remember the hydraulic jack that you use in your car to lift your car when the tire is flat? Yeah, this, this bottle, that small bottle. In this small bottle, you apply a small force, you apply, this is the jack, You apply a small force here, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, and a small force, and you move here, one ton, one ton, two tons, three tons, 10 tons, depending, depending of, uh, of the bottle, depending of, uh, of the cylinder here. We are going to, re to review the boat. We are going to check different type of hydraulic system in your boat. Yes, the fresh water system is a hydraulic system. Perfect. Uh, yes, uh, the fuel systems on the engines is a hydraulic system. The raw water system is a hydraulic system. The fluid is raw water. Ah, the lubrication system in the engine with motor oil, this is an other hydraulic system. The fluid is motor oil. The power steering is a hydraulic system. The brake in your car is a hydraulic system. All the systems that use a liquid, doesn't matter what liquid is, is a hydraulic system. Example of a hydraulic uh, systems that uh, we have in our boats. We have a uh, those are the most common. Those are the most common. Power, the steering system, the steam, the bow thrusters, davits, cranes, a lot of them, anchor, windlass, stabilizers, garage doors, swing platforms, passarellas, gangways. Those are the most common 
typical examples of uh, hydraulic systems used in our boats in marine application. Ay, ay, ay. A lot. Every day are more and more because I, I explain the precision, the, the maintenance is not complicated. I love the hydraulic system. We are going to refresh quickly the components of uh, the typical electrical system, electrical circuit. In the electrical circuit, we have uh, the source of the power, you remember? We have uh, the battery. Uh, normally, we have a fuse. After the fuse, we have a switch. After the switch, uh, we have uh, the motor, the load. Or you can install a motor or you can install a, any type of load. You remember, you can install lights over there. And uh, after that, uh, you return uh, to the negative side of the system. This is the source of the power. This is the fuse. This is the switch. This is the load. And those are the wires. This is the typical electrical system. In hydraulics, it's exactly the same. We are going to do exactly, exactly the same. We are going to do exactly the same circuit. And we are going to use similar, similar components. Now, this is the situation. In this, in this output, I connect the fluid here. And in the other output, I connect the fluid here. And I can move this element of uh, three positions with my hands. I can move it one position, two positions, or with solenoids. I'm going to explain later what is the procedure with solenoids and how to connect those solenoids. All right, this is the, this is the, 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 the body of valves, the valve body. Exactly the same like uh, in automatic transmissions. You remember when we study the autopilot system, I explained quickly uh, hydraulic system in order to understand how the hydraulic uh, system of uh, the autopilot work together with the power steering system. You remember we study the power assisted unit? Yes, in this chapter we are going to refresh those concepts and we are going to analyze those pictures uh, that uh, we use it in uh, in our use uh, in, in our book of electronics in the chapter of uh, the autopilot.